everyone, it's Jen here, um, also known as the Diamond Painting Gamer. A uh, very warm welcome to my channel. And uh, this is a very special video that I'm making today. Well, actually, I've been making it over several days, but I'm doing the introduction today. And this is my one year YouTube anniversary video. So, um, yeah, one year. I, I didn't, I honestly didn't think I would still be doing this after a year. And um, I honestly didn't think I would have quite so many people watching and subscribing um, as I do af after a year. So, um, at the time of recording this part of the video, um, I think I've got 443 subscribers. So, thank you to each and every one of you who subscribes um, and you know if you are watching and you haven't subscribed already um please consider it because uh it would help the channel grow um some more and yeah um i would i would love i, I would love for you to join me here so while i'm filming this intro um I am working on um, Alice and the Fawn from Dainty Diamond Art. It is, I think it's a 50 by 70 round with ABs. Um, this is featured in a few videos lately. It's, um, I've got a few um, whips, works in progress on the go, um, but this is the one that um, I'm spending all my time on just now. I'm enjoying it, you know, immensely. Um, plus, I also want to get it finished before I go on holiday. <laughs> I'm, go I'm going in just over a week's time, so. But yeah, I'm not here to talk about Alice and the Fawn. Uh, I am here to talk about, um, or to introduce my one year anniversary video. So if you have been around for a while, you'll know about my stash drawer. Um, and if you're new, you're going to find out about my stash drawer. So um, although I like the, the large kits and, you know, the premium kits are fantastic, excellent quality. Um, I also have my stash drawer of cheap and cheerful kits um, that I get from Amazon and budget friendly companies. They're mostly small kits, um, although they've got a lot of special shapes. Um, most of them are, are 30 by 40s or smaller, but I do have some bigger ones as well. And for the most part, everything cost... Oh, there was a noise outside. I don't know whether somebody's had a bang. Oh. <laughs> Anyway, um, back to that. Uh, I heard a there's a car pulled up, and then I heard a sort of like a smash. Um, I'll have a little look out later. <laughs> but yes, as we're saying, most of the kits um, um, that uh, I have are under five pounds in money. Um, there are a few that are a little bit more expensive. Obviously, the bigger ones are a little bit more expensive, but by and large, um, they're all under five pounds. So, yes, that's my cheap and cheerful drawer, um, my stash drawer, and I use it to break up. You know, I do do those ones, you know, to break up the larger paintings that I do. Um, get that sense of completion, you know. So, um, yes, this video is going to be uh, a tour of my cheap and cheerful stash drawer because a few people have asked about it. And also what I'm going to do or what I've decided to do is to do a giveaway as well. And because it's a one year anniversary video, it's going to be a little bit of a special giveaway. And there's not going to be just one winner, there's going to be three. So, 
what oh, oh, motorbikes i've got my window open um so that yeah there's going to be three winners and uh what you can do is uh you can choose a painting from my cheap and cheerful stash all you need to do is to put in the comments below which one you would be interested in now <laughs> if you um if you want a man mandala good luck because uh, i've got lots so um you can maybe put a color down that that's mostly in it or we can work it out later later on uh there will be one or two um diamond paintings that are not going to form part of the giveaway and i'll highlight them at the time i'm showing them and i'll give you the reasons why so not everything that i'm going to show will be up for grabs but most of them will um anything else okay yeah um probably one last thing before i get started um or before i cut to the that, that part of the video should i say is that um there will be um there will most likely be pieces of um art that are um licensed to other companies or from a particular artist um if that is an issue with you and you don't want to continue watching well then thank you for um your time so far um but i think all of us at some point have um you know have uh, bought um either knowingly or unknowingly you know i'm not here to judge you know I'm just here to diamond paint. But yes, you know, we've all got stuff in our stash, or we've all bought stuff that, um, in the past. So that's all I'm going to say on that. Anyway, um, yeah, enjoy the rest of the video. Happy birthday to me. And, um, yeah, if you put in the comments box down below um, which um, diamond painting you'd be interested in. And uh, yeah, you, you, may, uh, you may end up winning it. So yeah, three winners. Um, now, I'm actually going off on holiday on the 1st of August. Um, so this will be going up on the 25th of July. So I was wondering how long to keep um, keep it open for and I think what I'll do is I'll keep it open um, longer than I would normally. I think normally I would keep it open for a week which kind of basically takes me up to the you know the day I go on holiday <laughs> which, which isn't ideal. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep it open until the 10th of August. Okay. Um, so if you comment before the 10th of August, um, that way um, you'll be in with a chance of, of winning. Um, it will close at the at midnight on the 10th of August, um, British summer time. So that will... Um, you know if you want if you're overseas and yeah i, I, I will ha keep i will open it up to people who are overseas so if you're in the states or what have you um you can you, you can also enter um so just convert what midnight in british summer time is to your own time zone and then um yeah that's when i'm going to stop um stop receiving entries so, that, so that's a couple of days after i come back from a holiday so and then we'll uh then i'll do the draw probably um a few days after that so yeah closes on the 10th of august comment down below what painting you would like and uh yes enjoy the rest of the video and uh i will carry on here 
with um, Atlas and the Fawn. Okay, see you later. Okay, so are you ready to see my drawer, guys? Um, excuse any mess on the floor. Uh, I'm actually changing covers on the bed at the moment, so it's uh, just the mattress that's there. There's only about maybe a foot, foot and a half between the drawer and the wall, so I can't actually put a camera up on a stand or anything, so I'm holding it, so hopefully it's not too jiggly. Okay, let's go. There we go. Oh my god. <laughs> there it is. There's my drawer, guys. Um, it's kind of full. <laughs> so, um, yeah, this is where I put all my um, budget kits and also my, my special shapes. Now, they're mostly small kits, but there are a couple of bigger ones there. So, yeah, I mean, <laughs> I, can't, I can't even begin to think how many I've got. I mean, this bed is a... This bed is a, um, a king-size divan. There's some double-sided there. This bed is a king-size divan. So, um, it is big. It's a big drawer. Yep. It's uh, got rather a lot of stuff in it. Oh dear, let me move slightly. That's it. I'm kneeling down. Yeah, well, you can see the, the gap there between the the uh, bed and the radiator. It's not a lot. More. Oh, I've got a spell queen in here. Um, I didn't realise I had that in there. So, yeah. Mostly, um... Oh, it's my, one of my cat tapestries. I've got some cat tapestry special shapes. I don't know what that is. <laughs> I don't know where the drills are for this because there's no drills with it. That's that big seahorse. It's in a lot of budget sites. Uh, sun is shining in through the windows now. But yeah, look at them all. There is, um, yeah, there is rather a lot. The obligatory mandala. There's been more than one of them in there. What else have I got? There's a box of art. That oh, looks like an art dot box. Yeah. So, yeah, as you can see, this is when a big giant spider drops out at me. Um, oh, I hope I'm not making you ill. As you can see, it is rather a lot in here. Look at all that. Yeah. Oh, there's some them. Um, oh, I found some them. Um, that's uh, I don't. That shouldn't be in here. That looks like it's uh, crafties. No, they shouldn't be in there. I've got them in a different place. Right. Don't know why they're in there. <laughs> got two crafties in there actually. No, they definitely shouldn't be in there. What else have I got? Oh, yeah. Yeah, what with the light and the space and me struggling, it's not that great. Anyway, yes, that is my drawer, which has now just exploded everywhere. So what I'm going to do is, <clears throat> um, to make sure that we get everything, is I'm going to pause. I'm going to take everything out. I'm going to get a big plastic box and put all the drills label them up uh, make sure um, I've got match them up got the canvas ID on them and then um, put all the drills in a big box I'm going to do that off camera and then we'll jump back on camera and um, yeah we'll have a look at the paintings <laughs> okay so yes welcome to organized disorganized chaos that is my um, cheap and cheerful stash drawer told you there was a few Anyway, um, let me organise out my drills, or separate out the drills. Um, Cindy, you might have some more green pen, uh, pink pens coming your way. And then we'll have a look at the canvases. Ooh, exciting. Back in a minute. 
Okay, so um, I have tidied out the drawer. I have separated out my uh, drills. I've got one box full of my specials, uh, crystals, special shapes, all that kind of business. And I've got another box full of my rounds and squares. Anyway, um, this is my first special shape. Um, I don't know where it was from and this one will not be in the drawer because this was gifted to me um, by Cindy. It's a 30 by 30 square. Now, as these are all budget kits, um, it's highly unlikely that they will all be the um, the right size. If they are the right size, I'll comment, but like, you know, you can be, probably be rest assured they're going to be significantly smaller. So this is a beautiful heart-shaped tree. But yeah, this isn't in the giveaway. Um, well, I'll also do a tally at the end of how many that I've got to. Second, we have Pikachu in a bubble round. Um, so I think this was from FG Normal. Um, again, I'm not entirely sure where a lot of these are from, but um, if I remember, I'll let you know. And for obvious reasons, I'm not going to link anything. If there is something that you're particularly interested in and want to know where I got it, I will endeavour to try and find it. But um, yeah, no, <laughs> I'm not going to list everything here. But I have done an unboxing of Pikachu here. So Pikachu in special shapes. Um, in the same haul, we've got these teacups in special shapes as well from FG Normal with bubble rounds. Oh, upside down. I think this is all from the same FG Normal haul, these ones here. And that's my cute cat. And again, it's a bubble round. I've got quite a few bubble rounds. Anyway, cute cat, bubble round. Lovely. Okay, and now this is going to be the first of many mandalas. If you fancy winning one of the mandalas, yay. <laughs> um, good luck. Try and put a colour in there. So this has kind of like got uh, blues and yellows in it. So yeah, beautiful mandala. Again, FG Normal. So this is going into what I was talking to before about potential stolen artwork. I know a lot of these kind of like bubble rounds, these landscape dot paintings uh, are licensed to another artist. But as I said, um, these were all purchased before I knew of it. But we have got this gorgeous tree. Uh -oh. It would help if I had them all the right way around really, wouldn't I? Okay, so this is more of a special shape. We've got um, lots of crystal rhinestones and um, lots of special shapes, large circles by the looks of things, teardrops. Yep, so that is my fox. I love a foxy. I'm not going to show the drills for these, otherwise we're going to be here all afternoon. But yeah, I have a nice fox special shape. Not too sure where that came from. Uh, we have a bull. He's got a little heart nose. So he's like a bubble round, but he's also got some special shapes in him as well. We've got some teardrops up here. These bubble rounds are pretty much, I would call, full coverage. Whereas something like the fox here, I would class as a partial. Because there's a lot of empty area. The bulk of these special shapes will have come from FG Normal, but um, you'll have the odd one from Fan Sales, GBFKE and Everyday E deals are the kind of main sites that I buy from when it comes to budget. Amazon as well, but I don't think there's any special shapes from Amazon. Here's another lovely little landscape. It's kind of like sort of hills and stars in the sky. These are going to be great big huge stars. Um, let me just check and see, make sure it's sticky. Yeah, those stars are sticky. So they're going to have really big um, gems in there. I'm going to look at the centre of this moon to see if that's sticky. <gasps> that's sticky as well. So there's going to be an absolute stoter of a gem in there. Right, so that's my lovely blue landscape. Oh, 
Now, this ended, I put this in my drawer. I was going to do this for St. Patrick's Day, but um, it got stuck in my drawer and um, I completely forgot about it. So we've got this lovely shamrock, Celtic knots and what have you around the side. I think if I remember right when I unboxed this, the gems were orange, green and clear. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you wouldn't really expect anything else, would you? So uh, there is my shamrock. Okay, nice little tiny one now. So another 15 by 20. Now this will, will be true to size. And it's a little cat bubble round. And it's got a little fish. I think it's got a fish on a dish <laughs> for its tea. So cute little cat. Here we've got a whole mass of owls. And oh, there's a wee alarm going off outside. I don't know what that is. Um, the eyes are not drilled, but the beaks have got um, those uh, teardrops. I would imagine it's those orange um, teardrops that have got the uh, AB coating on them. But very, very colourful owls there. Special shapes. Okay, now this is one I'm not going to be giving away, okay? Um, this is a cat tapestry. It's in special shapes. It's actually quite a small cat tapestry. I have got several cat tapestries in special shapes. Most of them are big, and you'll see them later on. Um, the cat tapestries do not um, are not being included in the giveaway um it took me a long time to sort of like find all the different cats and i don't think i've even man i don't, don't think i actually managed to get all of them so um yeah they are not being given away i'm, I'm sorry to say so say hi to the gorgeous cat here's another little cutesy animal i think i've seen a lot of people with this one it's a little pig again 15 by 20. Yet another mandala, um, this one with a black background, lots of really large teardrops here in different colours, orange, uh, uh, not orange, sorry, uh, blue, red, green. I do, I've already done a mandala that's got this black background on it and I can tell you it looks absolutely stunning. It really, the mandala itself really stands out from the background. The background, although black, it is um, just regular black acrylic drills. Uh, we have this one, which again is a mandala, but it's got a really interesting pattern on it. In fact, I don't know, I don't, would you call that a mandala? Because, I mean, this is, this is a mandala here, but it's got these kind of overlapping sections here and here. So yes, this one. Now it's only the circle here that's got the drills on it and it's pretty much full coverage in that circle but round here um, there's no drilling okay next i've only got two of these um things here uh, i'm not big into gnomes so if you fancy a gnome by all means go ahead but this is a special shape with sunflowers and bees and the lovely bee hat so yes, that is a lovely gnome and it's a uh, bubble round, but the sunflowers have got lovely marquees in there. Imagine oranges and yellows. Oh, it's only, it's only one color. So probably like an orangey color. Oh, how cute is that wee guy there? It's a little bubble round penguin. I think he looks like, um, what was the penguin in Happy Feet? What Mumble? Was it Mumbles? Anyway, I think he looks like the penguin in Happy Feet. He's so cute. So a little bubble round. 25 by 25, this one. Right, okay. Now here we've got a bottle of pop or a bottle of champagne. But anyway, whatever, it's, um, you know, it's popped out the top. And all the explosion out top is beautifully uh, diamond painted. Now, this is a partial, this um, orangey area here. Uh, no drills on that, but the bottle's drilled and the um, 
explosion out of the top of the bottles drilled. Looks really colourful. Okay, another mandala. Surprise, surprise. Special shapes. Um, this one's more pinks. But yeah, I will tell you, these actually take longer than you think to do because they are so full, full coverage. The background here is all drilled and some teardrops and marquees in the mandala itself. But otherwise, it will be all crystal rhinestones. OK, here's one that I unboxed not that long ago. It's the deer or it's maybe, I think it might be called an elk on the website. Um, I think a lot of people have seen this or a lot of people have unboxed it so it could already be in your stash but it is in it's in mine the lovely flowers and the antlers and the background is that gorgeous turquoise blue color all right next special shape we have is this beautiful butterfly on a black background so there's actually two butterflies, so we've got the main large one and the smaller one and some flowers. The black background isn't drilled, so the crystals, because it will be crystals that um, that make up the butterfly and the flowers are really going to pop against it. It's really, really going to stand out and look absolutely beautiful. Oh look, it's another mandala guys. This one's a little bitty one. This is tiny. This won't take very long to make up at all. Um, now, uh, this is part of a four pack. I've done two already. And one of the ones that I had, the, all this background was sticky. But this one isn't, so that's fine. But it is a partial. And uh, we've got large diamonds here. I don't think I've seen diamonds in gems before. So up you'll see blue diamonds. So just a little one. And this is another one that came out of the four pack. Now, I think these ones, these ones may have come from Amazon, actually. It was one of these things. I think it was like buy four for five pounds or something like that. They were, that's how cheap they were. Um, all these diamond paintings that I'm showing you are, are, are basically budget, are cheap and cheerful. Um, the vast majority will be under five pounds. Um, yeah, I mean, there'll be the odd one or two that are um, more. But none of them, apart from the big ones, which I'll show later, are going to be more than 10. So, yeah, I'll just try to check the stick on the background of this. No, this one doesn't have stick on the background either. There was just one that I did. The, the whole thing was sticky. But anyway, this one's more uh, blues and greens. Small mandala, partial. Okay, this one we have got a tree. Uh, this is going to take forever and a day. I think I mentioned that at the unboxing. There are lots of teeny tiny drills in here. Lots of teeny tiny teardrops. And lots of regular sized crystals. This is going to look amazing when it's done actually. This tree is absolutely stunning, absolutely gorgeous. I think this might be the last one. It is. And this is another tree. This one, however, is a partial. The trunk, I haven't, you know, I need to get the gems out to confirm, but I reckon the trunk is just, and the branches are just going to be regular black acrylic. But you've got all these like swirls and all the flowers here, which are going to be beautiful and sparkly with um, crystals. And um, we've got some few teardrops going on there. So, okay, those are my special shapes. So let's count them and see how many special shapes we've got. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, oh my gosh, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 
25 and little one Cindy gave me makes 26. So 26 special shapes, 30 by 40 or smaller. Okay, let us um, pause and I will dig out my rounds and squares. And you can have a right old giggle because some of them are just like, oh my God. <laughs> You'll be like, Jennifer, what were you thinking? Back in a second. Okay, so we're back with the full drill ones now. And we'll start off with the squares and then we'll do the rounds. <clears throat> Same thing as before, anything from a PR package is not included in the giveaway. Anything that was gifted is not including in the giveaway. And anything else that, um, yeah, I want to do myself for whatever reason, will not be included in the giveaway. <laughs> but saying that, I think all of these bar two um yeah are up for grabs so first of all um we've got this here it says a lonely puppy but it, i think it's actually i don't know is it a baby fox or one of those little tiny um pomery pomer oh gosh can i never say po pomeran pomeranian dogs i don't know whatever it is it's cute and fluffy and it's all tangled up in these lights it is a 30 by 40 and I think this is a true 30 by 40 and it's a square so the first few are going to be squares so this is a square diamond painting and it's like it came from Amazon it's got 30 colors and DMC numbers as well but I think this is one that a few people have so yeah this is my cute little um I don't know if it's a fox or a little puppy but okay this one again is a square again i think this may be available as as a, as a licensed piece so again apologies if you um if this is an issue for you <clears throat> as i said a lot of these were bought before i was aware so this is a 30 by 40 square it's not 30 by 40 it's smaller 24 colors uh, a lot of color blocking and uh, no dmc on this but it's a cute little kitty i don't know she in you know what she's lying in balls of wool or something so my little kitty cat square cat uh that's uh, so another square 30 by 40 again not true to size and it's just a nice colorful rainbow swirl every color of the rainbow there square 28 colors with dmc numbers okay so that's all the squares so just three squares i thought oh yeah i do have more but they're double-sided which is why i haven't got them out at the moment um we'll come back to the art dots in a second i want to show you my two rounds now these were pr packages um so these won't be included but you have seen these unboxed recently and that is this turtle and we also have uh, this sunflower with the butterfly so they were in recent unboxings art dot got a few art dots uh, obviously art dots came from amazon so we have um the deer And we have the cow. Again, these will come with um, DMC numbers. The deer has um, 28 colors. And the cow is 26. Now, if you've not done any art dot kits before, um, you know, I will say art dot, the, the symbol quality Symbol clarity and the drill quality are both excellent. They're both very, very good. And we have an owl. This one's got 18 colours. This cat face appears absolutely everywhere. So these are nice, easy ones, actually. You know, not, not so much the other art dots, but this one and the next one. They're very easy and straightforward. Good for beginners. So this one has 16 colours, which is our cat. And the lion. And this one has 18 colours. 
So those are all 30 by 40s. Right, let me go on to the next one. Once upon a time, there was a girl who really loved cats. It was me, the end. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's my story, really. But, um, yeah, I'm not too sure what site this came from. But this is a 30 by 40. 23 colours. And DMC numbers. Okay, next we have a Mickey Mouse. Another 30 by 40. American flag behind. That would have been a good one for uh, 4th of July, which is now past. But yeah, I really, I, I'm not really big into Disney or anything like that, but I really, I quite like this one. And this has got 19 colours and it's got DNC numbers. Okay, now we're starting to get into some that I might, that I'm not going to give away. And unfortunately, I'm not going to give away this one. Um, if you know, this is from the video game Plants vs. Zombies. It's on your phones. You can also buy it for console as well. But it is a mobile game. And that's a uh, zombie being eaten by a piranha plant. or a, Oh no, it's not called a piranha plant. That's Mario, isn't it? A chomper. I think it's called a chomper. Anyway, um, yes, yeah, so it's a nice 30 by 30 Plants vs. Zombies. As I said, yeah, I'm sorry. This one's not being given away. <laughs> I did have another Plants vs. Zombies one with a pea shooter, which uh, I've done, and uh, this is its uh, buddy. Um, the more gaming based one, so here we go, we've got the symbols from the PlayStation. Again, 30 by 40, uh, it has 20 colours and DMC numbers. This one, I will say, the drill field isn't that great. It's not very clear. So, um, yeah. It's not very good at all. I'll bring that up there. You can see it's... You've got K's here. Dark K's and a dark background. And this happens a few times up here. I think there's B's. No, it's, 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 not a clear, it's not a clear drill field on that one. Right, okay. <laughs> Here comes the ones you're going to laugh at. I don't know why I've still got these. I don't know why they haven't ended up in the bucket. I think they cost me £2 each. And it's obvious. These are... These are... What size are these? It doesn't even say. These are rubbish, basically. They're probably 15 by 40, maybe. 50. That'll push. Anyway, that, that one's supposed to be Belle and the Beast. You know, you think it looks bad under the camera? God, we just see it in real life. Uh, 16 colours. <laughs> I'd be surprised if anybody wants that. And it's the same with this one as well. This is Jack Skellington. Don't know who else is supposed to be in this, if anybody. But yeah, it's Jack Skellington from Nightmare Before Christmas. Again, oh, absolutely dreadful. 19 colours. Uh, I think Lily said about those the better. I think... I think everybody's got disasters like that kicking about in their cupboard somewhere. Okay, here's my other gnome. I did say I had another gnome. Uh, this one is up for grabs if you want it. Um, it's a nice Christmas gnome. And it is a 30 by 40. And it's only got 14 colours. And the background was tons and tons and tons of colour blocking. But yeah, that's our nice Christmas gnome. Okay, here's another one I'm afraid that is not going to be in the giveaway. I'm collecting these. I've only done one. <laughs> uh, and I've only got one in my stash. But I do like these horror puppet type things that, that uh, are out. Um, so this is the jigsaw puppet. I've, I've already done um, the... Uh, the clown from it but the the tim curry sort of interpretation of it not the um not the, the most recent movie this is my um this is my uh jigsaw puppet on his little trike 24 colors and dmc numbers okay now i did say that um i was up to 40 by 50 on these um rounds um 
So this one's included and it's this gorgeous um, girl with like, looks like she's meditating. She's in the zone. She's got almost some colourful hair going on up there. So this is a 40 by 50, uh, not a true 40 by 50. Um, but yeah, 40 by 50. Uh, it's got 24 colours and also got DMC numbers. This will work up really quick. It's lots of colour blocking. Staying on the girls. That's me on my holidays. <laughs> so yeah, we've got this lady enjoying the beach. Um, 30 by 40. 20 colours with DMC numbers. Okay. Nice one for the summer. Okay, next we have this one. I think it's called Mascara. I think it's called on the website. Um, so, yep, yeah, somebody putting their makeup on, putting their mascara on. Lots of colour blocking in this as well, actually. But, um, yep, yeah, so that's 20 colours and DMC numbers. Uh, a couple more. Another big one, another 40 by 50, although this is 41 by 51. And it's some parrots kind of splattered. Background's all white and all colour blocked. Lots of colour blocking in the birds as well. But I, thought, I picked this up because I thought it was full crystal, but it's not. It's just regular drills. 19 colours and DMC numbers. So my parrots. Okay, sorry, this is another one that is not up for grabs on the giveaway and it's Mario. Um, he's stomping, stomping. Again, I've got a couple of Mario ones um, uh, that I've done. Um, so like I kind of want to sort of like keep them together. I'm trying to see if I can collect up some more. But here we go, that's Mario. And he's 20, col 20 colours and it's also got DMC numbers. Oh, and here is the last one. And it's kind of like a patchwork with hearts on it. This is a 40 by 50. And um, yeah, there's the top. And there's, yeah, there we go. there's the bottom. So this, this is 26 colours. I think this might take a little bit of while. There's quite a bit of confetti in this, so it's not um, it's not a quick painting, this one. Uh, it is 26 colours. There are no DMC numbers, though, unfortunately. Okay, so that is my rounds and square full drill paintings. So let's see how many of these we have. Again, these were all budget sites. So we have a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Right. Okay. So I'm going to pause again. And the next time um, I'm going to come back and I'm going to show you the larger ones because I have got some that are pretty big from, from the budget sites. Those I haven't unwrapped. They still have the drills with them for a variety of reasons. Um, basically, well, actually not a variety of reasons. Basically, because um, I don't have the, the space to store them flat. They're still rolled up. So, But we'll have a look at them in, in, in a second or two. Yeah back in a bit actually before i come back and show you the larger paintings 
Um, I do have a couple of other things to show you first. Um, so I do have a couple of double-sided adhesives that are still rolled up. Um, we have uh, these two here. So the top one is a little raccoon peeking out through some succulents. And the bottom one is a fox and he's peeking out through some leaves. Now these are squares here and um, they've both got 33 colours and DMC numbers. So I, I don't think I would, I'll be giving these away. I don't know if anybody would, would, would want to have a square uh, diamond painting. It's just I'd be reluctant to give these away because I don't know how they would fare in shipping uh, compared with the poured glue. So yeah. I thought I'd show you those. So we have those two double-sided adhesive ones. And I've also got a couple of mystery paintings as well. So the first mystery painting I did unbox on the channel. And I was very disappointed because it is a bit crunkled. But also it's not really much of a mystery because I can see what it is. And it's a rooster. Um, so yep, so there's that mystery painting, and there is a second mystery painting, which I've had for a while, but I haven't unboxed, I didn't unbox on the channel, so I'm not too sure what this is, and so what, all I can see is a lot of green in it, Um, the rooster mystery painting, I think it's 40 by 40, this one's 30 by 40. I'm not too sure if you can see what's, what that could be. These are both rounds. Um, but as I said, yeah, there's, there's quite a lot of green in this. So it's probably some kind of landscape, I would reckon, or floral. Actually, more landscape. It's greens, browns, yellows. Yeah. So yeah, two mystery paintings as well. Anyway, um, yeah. I'll be back shortly with, with the big ones. Okay, all right. Okay, so these are now my larger budget paintings. So we are talking any special shapes above say 40 by 50 and any uh, fill drills above um, 40 by 60. There's not too many of these. Um, and uh, unfortunately none of these are going to be available in the giveaway um but yeah you can have a little look at them anyway uh first of all i've got a couple of cat tapestries i do like the cat tapestries in special shapes um so here is the first one which is a 40 by 50. lots of really nice big gems in this I've done a couple of my cat tapestries already, um, but yeah, these obviously take a little bit longer to do. They're not um, what I would call quick paintings, although this one is um, is a partial. It does have quite a large area that's not drilled. So all this background here behind the cat, there's no drills on that at all. But I do like the way they're framed. Very pretty. Okay, here's a second cat tapestry. Um, a bit more drilling in this one because um, some of the background has been done. A um, bit of a thicker frame. This cat looks very like um, my cat Pepper. Yeah, that sort of like calico style cat with the white sort of like face and chest and tummy. With a nice little cup of tea. <laughs> so yes, um, not so many big special shapes in here, but there are some cute little hearts. So, yeah, there's another cat tapestry. I think this is slightly bigger. I think this might be a 50 by 60. But, um, you know, as we all know, these are not true to size. Now, if you can hear creaking going on in the background, no, I don't live in a haunted house. It's um, my son's bedroom door, it's blowing in the wind. I think I need to get the WD-40 out to the hinges. Um, <laughs> okay, um, 
Here's another one. Uh, this is a 40 by 50. It's an elephant in a frame. Now, the only part that's drilled is the elephant. This is going to look amazing when it's done. There is a lot of rhinestones going on to this. Um, this is, um, I've got a horse in the same style as this, which I've done already. Um, but uh, this is an elephant. So uh, looking forward to doing that. These partials, um, special shapes, I iron because um, as you can see, you know, they, they are quite uh, heavily folded, not creased, but, but uh, folded. Okay, now um, my final and my largest special shape. Um, it's, well, I was about to say, it won't surprise you, it's, it's like a mandala, but it's, it's, mo it's more like a tile what I would call a tile. I mean, there is kind of like a mandala thing going on in the middle, but it's more, I would say it's more like a tile. This is big. This is 60 by 60. Um, I saw, I think it was Whitney Diamond Paints do this and it was it looked absolutely amazing. Again, this is going to take a long time because this is essentially four I would say 30 by 30 diamond paintings, special shape diamond paintings all on the one um, canvas. So, you know, the equivalent of four 30 by 30 diamond paintings. So this will take a little while to do. But yeah, really looking forward to doing this one. Okay, let's go on to the full drill ones. Uh, they are rounds, um, but there are a couple that have got special shapes in them as well. So my first one is uh, Jessica Rabbit here. She is a 40 by 60. She, there is a lot of colour blocking. That whole background, apart from this section here and just under here, is all black. <laughs> Gosh, you'll like this one, Claire. <laughs> um, Claire loves her three tens. Uh, so yes, um, I uh, love Jessica Rabbit, you know, I think she's an amazing cartoon character, um, very much in this sort of frame of uh, Betty Boop as well, you know, a similar type of uh, character. Uh, yeah, I was a bit, um, I, I missed out on the Mandy Manzano um, one that Diamond Art Club did. I, I, you know, I do look out for it in these stash groups, but I'm, I don't think it'll, um, it, it'll appear. <laughs> Um, so I think uh, she did a, a fan art one uh, called um, I'm Not Bad, I'm Just Drawn That Way or Just Drawn That Way or something. But um, yeah, so that is my uh, Jessica Rabbit. Even though it's a 40 by 60, it will be quick because of all that 310 multiplacing that can be done. Uh, next we have this blue lady, um, she is on pretty much every single budget site out there, quite a lot of people have probably got her already. She is 45 by 85, but again, not that big. There's actually quite a lot of confetti in this, so this will take a little while to do. Um, she also has special shapes in her, so here and here and here so going through her like her hair is all these special shapes so so yes that is the blue uh, blue lady right next we have another 45 by 85 again which is on a lot of the budget sites which you may or may not have <laughs> and that is this huge seahorse Again, lots of confetti in this area here as well, all around here, and the tail and that. Background's a lot of colour blocking, but you know this this will take a bit of time too. Uh, this also has got some special shapes around here, and here, and these triangles down there. So, yep, yeah, that's another one. I do like seahorse diamond paintings. Um, I like, um, not that long ago, there was a lot of special, smaller special shape seahorses came out. I, I got one 
uh, in a PR package. Um, I know quite a lot of people have, have got like almost the full set. Um, I might have a look around and see if any of the other ones that I've not got are still available, but I do like a seahorse. Okay, last one. And last one is a gaming one. And it's one that I've, I've got done a couple or I've got a couple of already. So, and it's the pea shooters. There's a whole selection of pea shooters actually from Plants vs Zombies. Let me uncurl this a little bit because the, this, it's shaded from the sun. Is that a little bit better? A little bit better. So I've done a small pea shooter. I've got the one which um, was in another part of the video, which is the chomper eating the zombie. So here we've got um, more pea shooters. So that's a normal pea shooter. Uh, that's a snow pea. And that causes your zombie, that when it hits the zombies, that causes, makes them go really slow. Um, that's your fire pea. Um, sets them on fire. Uh, that's a 3P. It's got three heads on it. Oh, I think it's called a 3 Peter, maybe? I don't know. And that's called a repeater. That fires two. He looks really angry. <laughs> so that fires two peas instead of one. Anyway, so yeah, it's my plants. <laughs> that's the third of my plants versus zombies ones. I like plants versus zombies. It's a good game. Anyway, um, so yes, that is uh, the larger paintings and uh, that will be probably the end of the video. So um, yeah, I'll hand back to myself uh, diamond painting and uh, yeah, just go through the outro. Okay, hope you've enjoyed looking at this stash and uh, yeah, enjoy the rest of the video. So I hope you enjoyed um, that little uh, walk through my, my uh, cheap and cheerful stash. Um, yeah, and it's been a it's been an interesting uh, interesting year being on YouTube. So um, yep, just uh, one sort of. Uh, final thing is to just remind you about um, the giveaway probably not that you need reminding but uh, please um, comment below with the painting that you would like uh, like to win and if your name's drawn out then you will win that painting um, but as I said uh, there are some paintings that will not be part of the draw. Uh, and it is going to be open until the 10th of August. So that's that's plenty of time. Because this will be quite a this is going to end up being quite a long video. Um yeah, so if you have uh, enjoyed um looking at my cheap and cheerful stash. Um, can you please comment and let me know down below, see if you would like to see some of the, you know, my, my premium stash. I've got, um, I've got some from a variety of different companies, um, ranging from Crafties, which I would say is probably more the cheaper end of the premium market, right up to Diamond Art Club, which is obviously up there. And as uh, I would say, it's probably the most expensive for what you get for your money. Um, but then again, I suppose you get what you pay for, don't you? But uh, I watched Diamond Grandma. Uh, she, uh, she's, uh, I like, I like her attitude, her outlook. She says, you know, people say you get what you pay for, but you don't want to pay over the odds. You know, there's a limit, you know, just because something's premium quality doesn't mean, mean that you need to pay over and above the odds for it, you know. 
anyway, yeah, I thought I thought that I think that's a, a good philosophy. That was that was that, that that I totally agreed with that. Totally agreed with that. Actually, it's quite scary. I've got quite a lot of diamond art clubs actually. Um, I don't know if I want to go and count them all. Um, I don't know what that counted at with my budgets. Um, I think we're probably maybe round about seventy. Um, all together, so somewhere between sixty and seventy, which is is a lot. But you know, I've <laughs> I've seen stash people where people have got got over a hundred. <laughs> So uh, I, I kind of don't feel quite so bad about that. Um, yeah. So yeah, if you want to see see my my premium stash, you you know I'll um. As I said, you know I've got Diamond Art Club, Crafties, um, Dreamer Designs, um, Dainty Diamond Art, uh, Diamond Art Studio. I've I've got a few. So um, yeah, you can maybe have a look at some of the the, the premium kits as well if you like. Uh, but yes, I hope you have enjoyed the video. Please take part in the giveaway. If you have liked this video, if you could hit the thumbs up button, please. And uh, yeah, if you would like to subscribe, um, yeah, if you could please hit the subscribe button as well on the way out. And uh, I would love to have you join me here on my channel. So um, here's to the next year. <laughs> see where it takes us. And uh, yeah, I'll see you all in my next video, guys. Okay, cheerio.